When you're rolling this out, the speed you push the roller has a lot to do with the thickness of the material itself. Most people try to up to gauge the thickness by the pressure they apply. It's a lot easier just to actually control your speed and hardly put any pressure. I always try to pre-roll this before too much epoxy flows over to break the surface tension. Then it allows the product to actually bond when it breaks over that surface over the edge. And I try to do that before much flows too. I always try to roll everything one direction and then come back and kind of cross roll really quick and really light because your goal is to make sure that the resin is distributed as evenly as possible across the whole surface. If you notice it's a little thicker in the middle here, I can feel it with the roller, so I'm wanting to distribute that down. A lot of times people get fish eyes or bald spots on the epoxy on their piece and they mix the correct amount for the square footage, but they didn't spread it evenly, so the thin spots um, create the little fish eyes, and that's usually just from a poor application. Okay.